Good morning, everyone. This is Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations. And today is October 26th. It is Tuesday morning. Um, the sun is finally shining. We've had like three days of cold and thunderstorms and tornado watches and wowzers. Um, it has just been crazy. So um, I hope everyone there, wherever you are, I hope you're safe and warm or, or uh, cool if it's hot because it's not hot here. It's like 39 degrees right now. Um, and it's only supposed to be, I believe, 53 for the high. Anyway, I wanted to get on here real quick. Whoops. Oh, that's, God, that coffee is so good. That's Dark Roast. Who makes that? I think it's Starbuck, Starbucks Dark Roast um, in the K-Cup, of course. And then the creamer is Southern Butter Pecan. I'd never tried it before. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> okay, guys. So um, I've had a lot going on. It's been a few weeks since my last video. And um, I also wanted to wait. I keep getting notifications, so I'm hoping that that's not interfering. Um, I did order a new phone because I've had a few of you tell me that it's hard to hear me. So I'm working on that right now. Uh, I don't know. You know, I just did it snail mail. I'm not going to pay extra to get a phone to me. When I've got one that works somewhat, <laughs> it works fine. I guess doing videos isn't gonna cut it. Um, my my next thing that I gonna that I'm gonna do if it's not working right is probably get my iPad and see if I can do a video on that. And um, you know the volume and everything is working. So we'll we'll see. We'll see how this video turns out. Um, it's not. I'm hoping it's not gonna be too too long. But I did want to catch you up. I do have a few makes because I've been like, you know, extremely busy. So I've got four things that I need to show you and that's it. Four things and then five um, or number five is going to be a pom-pom that I put on one of the hats that I showed you in my last video, which I believe was like 10 days ago, maybe longer. I've lost track, guys. I've really lost track. So um, I got to get my coffee because, oh my gosh, I know I've moved things around again, as you can see. <laughs> this is all my craft fair stuff. I got a craft fair coming up on the 6th, then again on the 13th. So that's everything that I'll be taking. I'm trying to get it all in one section. So yeah, Ooh, I'm constantly moving this room around. I don't know. Or the things in the room, not the room itself, but you know what I mean. Um, if I Have I said hi to all my subscribers and everything? If I haven't, hello. Hello to all of you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. If um, you haven't hopped over to Instagram or Pinterest, please go over there and follow me. Um, it does help. Like Just like on Etsy with the alg algorithm, it helps if you, you know, um, favor the shop, favor some items. And yeah, we'll go from there. I do appreciate you. I'm, you know, just, I want you to know that. And thank you for all of the suggestions. I know I probably said that in my um, video when I picked the winner. And these are not... <laughs> I've got this thing about glasses, you guys. So, yeah. So, anyway, let me get back. I picked the winner. And I just want to thank everybody for their comments because you guys had some great suggestions. But I think that the aquarium is going to be a nice, family-friendly, and hopefully we can... <laughs> we're getting everything gathered together. I can get some pictures or a little video for you guys because um, it's this Thursday. Um, my glasses are, are not new. I cannot find my other ones. And I have glasses that are just like roses. They're, they're black with the little studs on the side. They might be in my husband's car because, you know, we, we went to um, Chick-fil-A over the weekend. It's one of his favorite places to eat. And we, of course, don't have one here. So... <laughs> So yeah, that's probably where they are. But I always keep some somewhere. And these were actually my mother's glasses years and years ago. Um, I mean, she's been gone 16 years, so it's been a while. And we're cleaning up. We just had the house painted. So we we're you know, trying to get the house updated and do little things here and there when we have time. And I found these and I thought, I wonder if they would work. Isn't that crazy? They're, they're, I, I still have to go to the eye doctor, but that's not until next week. Um, yeah, but so close up because I'm on my phone and my screen on my laptop and ugh, all the time. So things are <laughs> things that are close up 
are, are starting to get really fuzzy for me. So, um, but reading glasses work. That's all these are. They're just reading glasses. So they work really well. Don't affect my eyes at all. And it's, it, you can tell that it's a really low, I don't, I was going to say dose, but that's not right. <laughs> whatever that word is, low prescription or whatever. So, um, yeah, so I've got to find my glasses, but I have about, I have like seven pair of reading glasses, just, you know, in a car downstairs in the living, they're just all over the place. So I just grab whatever I can. Cause they're all the exact same, um, uh, prescription. I keep wanting to say it's prescription, I guess. Um, even though they're not from an eye doctor, let me make that uh, spoiler. <laughs> They're like from, I just, Dollar General or wherever I can pick up some glasses. All right, so before I show you my makes, um, this is the chat part. Here's my coffee. So let's chat. So if you have been following me for a while, you know that I have four children, three girls and one boy. And the one that I usually, that I used to do a lot of podcasts with and um live videos is amanda well amanda has been having some health issues and um i took her last month to get a biopsy done on her thyroid i'm trying not to um i'm trying very very hard <laughs> just had so much going on you guys Whew. okay so we went and got the biopsy done and we waited patiently for them to come back and tell us what the results were. Well, the biopsy came back and two of the, the um, she had four lumps in her thyroid. They biopsied two of them because two of them were um, suspicious is what they were saying. So they did come back malignant and she had her thyroid removed on Monday. So, um, yeah, so she's doing, you know, she's doing as well as can be expected right now. Um, it was really hard to see her when she got out of recovery because, uh, you know, they don't, they don't warn you about the scar. Um, and, and I know it's going to heal. That's not, that's not even the issue, but seeing your child, um, you know, go through something like that. And, you know, I just, and, and things go in my mind, my mind was just like, man, I just dealt with this for, you know, two years ago with Jack. Um, and, and now it's my child. So, you know, I was, I've just been, I've been an emotional wreck. <laughs> so, but I, you know, I've continued to work. I like to, to keep busy. Um, I see her every day when I get off work. Um, if she needs anything and I can get it for, she's got lots of support. Um, you know, so that's, that's never going to be, or not ever an issue. And I knew God had everything under control. Um, even when we found out that the thyroid was going to have to come out, they didn't waste any time at all. They told us one week, the next week she was in surgery. So, um, I took her, I waited there, um, till she got out of recovery and I took her back home. And, um, you know, like I said, she's, she's healing. She's supposed to be getting rest, but this is Amanda and she never sits still. She's never been able to sit still. Drives me nuts. So I'm always sending her a text message or a phone call when I'm traveling. Are you resting? Are you resting? Cause you're supposed to be resting. Don't make me call the doctor cause I will. <laughs> so, yeah. So anyway, that's, what's been going on. Um, I, I really did try to do a video, um, you know, a few days ago. It did not work out so well. I was just a mess. So, you know, now that I've had a week to just process everything, um, they took 17 um, samples, lymph nodes. There is, everything else was clear. So all she needs to do is heal up. Of course, she will be doing... Um, a supplement because she no longer has a thyroid and that of course will be for the rest of her life. So, um, and that's, you know what, <laughs> everything's out of there that needs to be come out. 
now she's healing. So I am extremely blessed and I'm extremely grateful um, because, you know, God's mercy yet again, um, he has taken care of, of, you know, one of my loved ones. So I am, I'm just too grateful to even be, it, this is, you know, th things happen all the time. We're dealing with it. She's, she is doing so much better. She's actually getting some crocheting done. <laughs> So I'm sure she's loving that. Um, I actually FaceTimed her when I got home the other day and I was like, uh, what do you want? So I'm just like walking around the room and she, she actually took some of my Burnett blanket yarn, you guys. So I actually got rid of six skeins cause she's making, um, a baby boy blanket. One of her friends is having a boy. So she wanted to make a blanket and I'm like, well, t now's the best time since you've got, I think she's got three weeks off. Um, before she has to go back to the doctor and then get the release to go back to work. So, yep. So as soon as she's done with that, I'm going to give her more yarn. <laughs> Anything to keep her busy. So, and we've also been dealing with issues with our dog. She's getting really old. Her back legs aren't working. You know, she had a stroke a few years back. <clears throat> and we're just right, right at this point, we're just trying to make her as comfortable as possible. Um, yeah, you know, decisions will have to be made, I'm sure. But right now I'm just not doing that. She is just, you know, she's a great dog and she has been with us almost 13 years now. And uh, she's a little peekapoo and she's just, you know, she just wants to be comfortable and, and pretty much left alone most of the time. But we, you know, we're giving her lots of love and letting her know that we're here for, her. and you know, she's we got to take her to the vet to make sure she's not in any pain or anything. The cortisone shot was not working, so um, you know, we were told to just keep her as comfortable as we can uh, for as long as we can, and that's what we're gonna do. So, <laughs> so that's the chatting part, guys. Um, yeah, you guys will know that we are, you know, if you've if you've been with me long enough, you know that we are very, um, oh man, we're very true to believing that God will take care of us and my, my family. And, you know, the minute we, you know, even when we had to take her there, the doctor even asked if, you know, if he could say a prayer, which I think is beyond amazing to me. <laughs> it's beyond amazing. Um, it was great. It was just phenomenal that, you know, they even asked to do that. And, and I understand that people, that not everyone is religious. That's fine. This is me, my family and our personal preference. But, um, for us, it was very comforting and, um, very much appreciated. And, you know, he's a great doctor. He was, you know, his bedside manner is amazing. And he took very good care of my daughter through God. So, <laughs> so we're good. Um, anyway, so that's, what's been going on with me. How are you guys doing? <laughs> I hope everyone's well. And you know, anytime you guys have something going on and you want to send me, um, a private message to pray for you, I am more than willing to do that. I put all kinds of people on our prayer list at church, talk to my preacher almost on a daily basis. So yeah, I let's do it. <laughs> okay. So because I got to do this thing called, you know, work, um, I'm going to show you what I've made. <laughs> it's not a lot. I haven't really gotten that much done to show you. But actually, since my last, since the last video, because, it, you know, Halloween is Sunday, I have made 16 Shrek hats and mailed them off on my Etsy shop. That is definitely my number one seller, especially this time of year. Um, so as you can, I have to go get more yarn because I ran out. So I know if you see other videos, you'll only see one or two of those. So Hobby Lobby is having the 30% off sale again. So they had six of them and I bought all six. I had one left and I bought six of them yesterday when I went to the store because that's the color I use for my Shrek hats. So I was really excited. Yeah, I know I've got, I found, uh, I've got a bunch of those. I didn't even realize I, I had that. So we've, we've moved things around. Abby did get her machine. She is working on a TikTok hat right now, so we will see how that works. So, speaking of TikTok and and the rainbow hat, 
as you guys know, I made one. Uh, let me get it because I was waiting on a pom pom. I didn't like the pom. Oh, sorry. If this thing's shaking, that's me. So I was waiting on a pom pom because I was I was working on a hat, uh, beanie, whatever you want to call it. And this is my clover hook that I used. What did I say I used with this? I don't remember. It might have been my, my K hook, guys. I don't know. You'd think I'd write this stuff down when I whip stuff up, but I didn't. So I um, I did find a pom-pom that I liked. I would put the link to the to the pom-pom in the description box. But this one, I really like. I think it's the right size. It looks good. Nice and fluffy. The other ones are slightly smaller, so I think they'll be good for... Um, children's hats so I'm still gonna use them but yep there's that I love this hat it's so pretty that that is a really great color I'm telling you it works up very nicely so I put the pom-pom on it you guys already saw the hat at my last um, my last video but the pom-pom is now on and I love it so I'll be making another one like this and this is just half double crochet and it looks kind of weird um, like in a good way because it, it, I don't know. <laughs> it just looks nice. Maybe it's, it's the yarn that's also um, doing that. But yeah, it's just half double crochet. And of course, the back loop only, single crochet for the, the brim. So there's that. All right. Um, I've got three loveys that I made. Oops, I keep forgetting to stop shaking this thing. Let me scoot up some. Sorry, guys. So I have three loveys that I made, um, and two of these are because when I was going through stuff, when I was moving things around, I didn't realize I had um, Halloween beanies, baby beanies, but I do. Hold on a second. Oh. So I made some loveys for them last night while watching Doctor Who. Yep, I'm that geek. <laughs> I like Doctor Who. <laughs> Love it, love it. And um, yeah, if you're a Doctor Who fan, the they have a Halloween special that they're premiering on Halloween. It'll be the, the new one, so I'm excited. All right, so let me show you this first guy because I know I got to get out of here. This is Radar. Um, after flying all over time, I spend time hanging upside down. So, of course, it's a bat. So, this is Radar, and here's his <laughs> this little thing. I think he turned out really cute. And he's got just like, what are those anyway? Oh, I guess just little designs. But anyway, I wanted to put purple on there, but uh, I don't know. I think I like it the way it is because it really, you know, really looks, brings out. And there's his, there's his undercarriage. <laughs> his undercarriage. Oh, there's the underside. He's so stinking cute. And he's so soft and fuzzy. So that is Radar. And then this one is Pandora. And every time I hear that, I think of Andorra from Bewitched. <laughs> Andorra, but her name is Pandora. And I was going to put black on here, but <clears throat> this is the Karen Party yarn. You see the little specks in there? So those colors match the color in her hat. So that's why I chose it. I thought it was really cute and I like it. So these, um, I'm gonna, I am gonna put them on the, on my Etsy shop. I'll get them listed, but you know, I gotta also make sure that they know that they're not gonna get there by Halloween. It's already Tuesday. So, I mean, unless it's, you know, they pay extra for shipping, but yep. So that's Pandora and I have two of these little guys. I have two Pandoras, but I, um, I did, just three loveys last night. So I did Pandora, Radar, and then I did Iron Man because he's cute and adorable. So there's the Iron Man lovey. <laughs> do, do, do. So there you go. And if you see my, my description in my Etsy shop, um, in case you're new to my channel and don't know, the circular, this comes off, okay? It's just, there's a hole in the middle. And this is something that Zelda from NRJ3, um, she is the one that, that 
invented this or made this. Uh, so when you see my description, she gets credit for the lovey design because she should. <laughs> She's got a tutorial out. I will make sure to put that in the description box below so she shows you how to do that. But yep, ingenious. It's absolutely, and I love this one too. So they all turned out really, oops, really nicely. Um, and then I had another order that I haven't sent out yet, so I wanted to show you. It is a, um, <laughs> I'm not drawing a blank. It's a shawl, um, a pocket shawl. All right, so there it is. There's the other side. And this is, what stitch is this? Um, so the sides are the back loop only, half double crochet, and then half double crochet, and then you skip one, and then you go back half double crochet, or double crochet, I think. Anyway, that's it. That's it. Fold it in half, and then in half again. But this is going to be sent out today, and I just thought I'd show that to you. The yarn is, what is this color? Oh my gosh, I told, it's, it's, I love this yarn, but it's a specific color and I can't remember. It's the one I buy a lot. Gray something. It's, well, obviously it's gray. That was the same, the same guys. Um, eh, if you really want to know the color, I'll, you know, I'll look it up, but I, I've just got so much stuff. I'm, like I said, I'm trying to get a lot of stuff done before, um, there. Oh man, it's still like shaking. Sorry. Before, before my next craft show, which is in a little over a week. All right, so you've been caught up. It's been 22 minutes, and I got to get out of here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and um, subscribing to my channel. And, you know, just remember I'm on Instagram. I told you, Instagram, Pinterest. We've got a Facebook page. It's a group. And it's private, so there is one question that you have to answer. I do have another Facebook. It says Happy to Hook Creations, all one word, lowercase. And that's for um, when I remember. <laughs> but that's attached to my business. So when I when I post something on Instagram or when I you know, post something from my Etsy shop, it will be on that one. But if you want to join our group, it will say private. So um, head on over there because, you know, there's... There's over a thousand of us now and we would love to have you join and they're very talented and you're more than welcome. So please hop on over there. Um, and again, don't forget to like and share this video and thank you so much, all of you guys. I really appreciate it. Um, all the watching and the support that you've been giving me. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful Tuesday. It's not too bad. I mean, it's cold outside. It doesn't look cold because the sun is shining and the sky is actually blue. No rain today. Woo woo. Um, <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. You guys have a wonderful day and I will see you when I see you. Happy hooking. Bye-bye.